Hi, welcome to Meet Me on the Mat. I'm Erica. Today we're gonna do a lunchtime express workout using our Pilates ball. If you don't have a Pilates ball, find just a nice, um, soft, but somewhat firm uh, cushion or pillow from your sofa, love seat, oversized chair, whatever you have at home. You could even use um, like a really large towel or maybe two towels, just something to give you some support. Um, for some sections, you might even be able to use like a yoga block or something. It just depends on what we're doing. But to start, definitely it has to be something softer um, or a ball, no blocks. All right, so we are gonna start just by opening up the chest and that upper thoracic spine. So. I'm going to bring the ball just right underneath more of the lower part of my shoulder blades and start to kind of just get situated. My knees are bent, feet are planted. I'm really gonna to try to find some stillness through my hips and pelvis. So here, I'm just gonna start with my arms out to the side and go ahead and really stretch up and over the ball. So if this doesn't work for you and you're like, wow, I need something to support my head and neck, just bring up those hands, okay, to support the head and neck. All right, and just imagine your middle upper back lengthening out, getting longer, as if you're stretching a piece of taffy or a piece of gum to come up and over that ball. Take a big breath in here, and on your exhale, I want you to use your abdominals to come all the way up. So really coming up into that nice upper ab abdominal curl, and then you'll stretch up and over that ball again as you inhale to go back. So exhale, coming up, use your abdominals. So don't use your head, don't bring your chin to your chest. Try to keep everything nice and still in that upper body and head and just use those abdominals to bring you forward on your exhale. So you'll start to feel the ribs getting closer to the pelvis as you come up. Let's do two more from here. Last one, biggest stretch you have. Get nice and open, and then we'll come all the way up. If you need an assist to come up, you can go ahead and grab behind your thighs and just kind of pull yourself up to a seated position. The ball's gonna stay behind you, and we are going to tuck it under the lowest part of your back. So I'm almost kind of, just a little bit, almost sitting on the ball so that it doesn't go anywhere or roll away from me. I'm still gonna keep some separation between my legs, really plant my feet down, and then from here, let's start with the hands behind the legs. We'll work into some progressions. We're just gonna do some small rollbacks onto the ball, working into those um, abdominals. So first, let's find some length in the spine on the inhale. On your exhale, you'll hollow out your tummy and really just start to roll back. And as you're rolling back, almost think about your sit bones kind of curling forward towards your heels. Now as you come forward, leave your belly and your back on the ball for as long as you can, as if you're resisting to come up, creating more work for yourself. So exhale back, two, three, hold, and inhale, up, two, three. Reaching those arms out for a little bit more intensity, inhale, back, two, excuse me, exhale back, two, three, and then inhale, coming forward. Leave those abs in your back on the ball for as long as you can. Let's do a few more. If you want even more chance, the biceps come up to the ears as you go back on that exhale. Leave your belly towards that ball as you come forward on your inhale. So you could even just kind of decide you wanna do arms forward for one, arms up for one, or arms forward to go back, and then they come up to come forward. Whatever seems to work best for your body today. Arms out in front of you. Now from here, let's roll the back. Really try to draw those sit bones towards your heels and just hold. Feel that energy moving towards the heels, and then I want you to energetically start to feel the heels reaching towards the sit bones. So all of a sudden there's this, this bigger force of energy turning on the hamstrings, the legs, everything might start to turn on and engage just a little bit more here, okay? And now from here, those arms are stretched out in front of you. Keep pulling the abdominals down into the ball. Let's open the arms on an inhale. And on your exhale, close the arms and pull those abs down even more. Inhale, 
and exhale, pull those abs down towards the ball. Two more, inhale, and exhale. Last one, almost like hug a tree on the reformer. So let's reach those arms straight out in front of us again. We're gonna come all the way back up and then open up for a little rotation out to the side. So I inhale to prepare on my exhale as I go back. I'm gonna open that right arm out towards the outside of my mat and then resist to come forward. The trick here is to try to keep the pelvis and the hips and the knees nice and square because they're gonna to wanna to shift all around. Exhale to go back. Inhale to come forward. Just following the hand with the eyes, with the gaze. We're gonna finish on the left side. So really resisting to come up. Pull those abs down into the ball. Come all the way up and just take a little stretch over here. Now we're gonna take the ball out because we're gonna lie all the way down onto our back. Okay, so from here we're gonna lie all the way down and set up in a bridge prep position. Okay, so we are going to bring the ball just between the knees and set the feet down. Okay, so really feel like you're anchoring your feet into the mat like you would for any bridge. Okay, and let's press the palms down, really engage through the triceps, Find that feeling of expanding through your chest like you felt when you were um, tipping your head up and over on that ball back towards the mat. Okay, and from here, I'm walking my feet in just a little bit closer. Okay, I'm gonna take a nice couple of breaths here to set up my pelvis. Let's find a neutral position. So whatever neutral looks like for you, we're not trying to imprint and really trying to not overly arch the back at all here. Okay, so. Take a big breath in, and on your exhale, go ahead and find that imprint. Really hollow out your abdominals and start to peel your hips all the way up. Good. Just take a breath at the top, and then on your exhale, you'll articulate down nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. So all the while, keeping a little gentle squeeze on that ball so that you don't lose it. Okay, so find that imprint on your exhale as you articulate up, reaching those knees away, really pressing those hips up, maybe curling a little bit more through the tail if you can, and on your next exhale, coming all the way down. Finding neutral again in the pelvis, and let's go back up again. So exhale, find the imprint, deepening through the scoop, curling the tail, peeling the hips up, Come all the way up to the top, and here we're gonna hold, holding onto our bridge so that we can press up an inch and down an inch 18 more times. Because we're going for 20, we already did two. 16, 15, really squeeze your bottom, drawing those sit bones in a little closer each time 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 keep pressing those feet down last five here 4 3 2 1 and hold it up there from here we're gonna squeeze that ball in and out for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and hold, press up a little higher, and articulate down one vertebrae at a time. Nice, draw those knees in, and then from here, we're gonna take the ball and bring it right underneath the legs, so right between the thighs and the calves from here, okay? So I want you to bring your feet back down to the ground, and if you can, find that imprint that we went to right before we went up into our bridge. So find that imprint, really hollowing out the tummy. 
See if you can keep the imprint as you pick up your feet and draw your knees in towards your body. So try to keep the imprint. It's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Try to keep that tail kind of tucking up as you lift those knees and bring them into the chest. So it should have felt like a little extra work. Go ahead and try that one more time. Okay, so we go from neutral. We find our imprint. And from here, I feel the, my quads, I feel the, my, or excuse me, my hamstrings start to turn on a little bit more. You're gonna just lift up. Good, and now from here, we're gonna do just some little hip lifts. So you can decide the range of motion that's gonna work for your body today. Okay, so let's start by just letting the knees come in and then out. So just a really small range of motion to start here. Hinging at that hip joint. Okay, and then when you're ready, really trying to press down with the hands into the mat and just lift your hips up just a little bit and then let those toes kind of reach towards the mat. They don't have to tap all the way down. Inhale to lift the hips, maybe each time you're getting a little higher. Exhale down. Those shoulders might want to creep up into your ears. Really try to keep them from going all the way up there. Let's do a couple more. Last one. Good. So let's bring the hands towards the shins. Curl the head, neck, and shoulders up, and just rock up and sit up for your rolling like a ball. So here, really think about trying to pull those heels towards your bottom, okay? Tuck your chin, bring that head in as close as you can, and let's roll like a ball five times. Inhale to go back, exhale to come up. Keep squeezing the ball, pulling those heels towards your bottom. Last one here. Come up, hold your balance. Try to keep holding your balance as you pull the ball out. So now you're on your balance point. Oh, you could go up into a teaser if you wanted to, right? And we're just gonna bring those legs all the way down to the mat. So we're making our way into single leg circles. So for this exercise, Today we're gonna to use the ball and we're gonna place it underneath kind of the ankle and the calf. So your heel's not actually gonna rest on it. Um, you're gonna find it right under the lowest part of um, that lower leg, okay? And then all you're gonna do is bend the other leg and roll all the way down onto your mat. Okay, if you need to make any adjustments, go ahead. And then from here, let's bring the other leg, the left leg for me, up and just straighten it up, okay? Try to make sure your hips are nice and level. Again, finding that openness through the chest, pressing the palms down, okay? And you're gonna find it a little bit more challenging to keep everything stable as one foot is on an unstable surface. So you aren't able to really anchor down into your mat, now you have to find stability with that other leg on the ball. So let's take an inhale to initiate crossing over the body, and then exhale to come up. Scooping that belly down and really pulling the leg back towards you. Inhale and exhale. And your range of motion might be smaller and it might be bigger than mine. One more in this direction. And let's reverse. Inhale initiates the movement. Cross over that other leg. Exhale to come up. Three more. While we're here, let's just take a little extra bitty hamstring stretch. Just draw that leg back as close to your body as you can. And then we'll just switch it out. So there's no real pretty way to do this. Just kind of roll the ball over, find it onto the other leg. Okay, you can just start with that um, right foot now on the mat knee bent to really find a levelness through your hips. And when you're ready, draw your knee in and extend that leg all the way up. Okay, so let's go five in each direction. So inhale to cross over the body for one, exhale to come up. 
So the larger you make your circle, the harder it's gonna be for you to balance that other leg on your ball and keep everything else nice and still. Let's reverse it. Inhale starts the movement, exhale brings it home. Every time that leg comes up, really trying to hollow out that tummy even more and just pull that leg back for a little extra juicy stretch. Last one. Again, I'm gonna bring my hands behind the back of my leg and just pull my leg in nice and close, try it into deepen into the stretch here. Now I'm gonna do something kind of tricky. I'm sure you can do it too. I'm just gonna use my feet to bring that ball up to my hands and then extend my legs back out long on the mat. So we're gonna do a few roll-ups here. So I want you to just bring the ball over your face as if, um, it's kind of like a little halo over your eyes. Give it a gentle squeeze here. Make sure your inner thighs and your heels are together. We're gonna to have pointed feet today, okay? So I want you to just reach those arms back and only go as far as you can without um, you know, arching your back and flaring those ribs up towards the ceiling. And on your inhale, you're gonna to start to bring the ball back up, making that little halo. Exhale, the chin and the chest start to lift and you're just gonna peel your spine up one vertebrae at a time. As you're coming forward, imagine you're almost coming up and over the ball. You don't have to put your ball on your belly like I did, but I want you to imagine, it's like a spine stretch forward. You're coming up and over that ball. And then squeezing your thighs and heels together. Inhale to reach those arms back. Exhale that breath out. Inhale, you come up again. Exhale, just moving along with your breath. Again, you're coming up and over that ball. Just imagine it's there. And let's do three more. The inhale starts to bring the arms forward. Really resisting your body as you come forward. Trying to keep your shoulders on your back. So gently squeezing those shoulder blades together to make sure your shoulders aren't shrugging up towards your ears. We're gonna go down one more time. And then on the next time, we're gonna stay all the way up. You're gonna stay up. You wanna take just a quick little stretch up and over your legs. I'm gonna turn and face you for this next exercise. So let's have our feet flexed, okay? So I don't think you can see my feet here, but my feet are flexed. Maybe if I move back a little bit. Okay, my feet are flexed. My legs are together. I'm perched up on my seat just a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna bring my arms up overhead, gentle squeeze on the ball. And I want you to really feel like you're, you're kind of lifting your ribs off of your hips on your inhale. And then on your exhale, you're gonna open your arms and the ball will go to one side, starting with the right. And then inhale to lift up, exhale to open. Inhale, exhale. Lift those ribs off of your hips. Now we're gonna add a little twist, a little spine twist, right? So I'm going to let that ball go into the right hand as I twist open on my right side. And I'm really trying to look back at that ball. So giving you something to kind of focus on to help you maybe move into your twist a little bit more. And then inhale, we're gonna come up, pull those ribs up, and exhale, we'll open out to the other side. Inhale to lift. So really being mindful of trying to keep those feet together. Don't let them shimmy one in front of the other, or one pulling back, that means that your hips are helping you twist through the movement. And we really wanna use the waistband and the ribs for the twist. The hip flexors are working hard, right, to keep you nice and stable through that lower body. One more time each side. Good, bring the ball all the way back down. So we're gonna go into a little sideline series. We're gonna start, I'm gonna move my mat down just a smidge, I think. We're gonna start with the ball underneath our side body, underneath our ribs, okay? So you're just gonna place it under those side ribs and bring your other hand down so that you're on your forearm. I'm gonna actually start with my um, 
legs bent and stacked. So my feet are in line here with my hips. And then I'm gonna take my top leg and just extend it out, okay, at hip height. And we're going to try to stay lifted as I'm sitting here talking to you, sinking down to my ball. Try to stay lifted off of the ball. So the goal here is really just try to keep your trunk, right, nice and square, nice and stable and lifted. Okay, so I'm gonna flex my foot to start and we're gonna do our front and back kicks. So we've got a big kick, a little reach, and then a sweep to the back as you point your foot. So it's a kick, kick, reach it to the back. Let's do eight more. Kick, kick, and reach it back. Kick, kick, reach it back. Kick, kick. Five, four, three, two. Now the next time we're gonna hold it back there. We're gonna hold it back there, reach that leg back. And then that arm that, or hand that was on your hip, you're just gonna extend it out in front of you. And we're gonna lift that leg up and down, up an inch, down an inch. Up, try not to smoosh the ball completely. Try to stay lifted. Using that glute to lift the leg and lower down. Lift and lower down. Up and down. Up and down. If you're not feeling glute, maybe flex your foot. Might help you connect to the back of your body a little bit more. Last one. Good. Just reach back. Grab that leg. Give it a little stretch, stretch, stretch. Pulling that heel in towards your bottom. Good. All right, so we're gonna take the ball out. And we're gonna place the ball just above the ankles, between the legs. And you can rest all the way down for this one, bringing those legs out um, to the forward diagonal on your mat. Okay, and let's see if we can really start to elongate through that top hip. So making sure that that hip isn't hiking up towards the ribs, but really lengthening itself out. Okay, and if this doesn't feel comfortable, you can always come up. I actually prefer to be up a little bit higher here. Okay, I've got my little house for my mouse here down. And all I'm gonna do is take a big breath in to prepare. And on my exhale, I'm gonna lift my legs up and just hold, pressing that bottom leg up into the ball and then lower down to a hover. Exhale up, lower down, up, lower down, up, lower down, four more. Last one, and we're gonna hold this time. Lift up and hold. Hold a little higher, maybe a little bit higher. Good, and lower all the way down. Now we'll come up to a seated position and just switch right on over to the other side. So again, we'll start with the ball right underneath the ribs. Okay, come on to a forearm. Try to stay as lifted as you possibly can here. Starting with both legs stacked on top of each other and then we'll let that top leg just lengthen lengthen out. Okay, so I'm gonna flex to start, and I've got big kick, little kick, and opening through that hip to go back. Big kick, little kick, and reach it back. Eight more. Inhale, exhale back. Inhale, Trying to keep the box or your upper body as still as possible. Last one, and we're gonna hold it back there. Reach that other arm around, and we'll lift the leg. I'm gonna go flex this time. Up and down. Up, try to access that glute. Sometimes it can be hard, Sometimes that glute needs a little wake up, so sometimes you gotta give it a little, a little, little tap tap. Three more. Good. Reach that arm back, bend the knee, pull your heel in towards your bottom. Just take a nice stretch here, and then we'll take the ball out. We're gonna set up again. 
either on your bicep or up with that ball between the ankles, between the medial malleoluses. All right, just kidding. So let's stretch out the top leg, pull those abs in nice and tight, keep that upper body nice and strong and nice and still. And from here, inhale is our preparation and exhale brings the legs up, pressing that bottom leg into the ball and then lower down to a hover. Exhale up and lower down. Exhale up, inhale down. Three more. Last one, hold it up there. Lift it a little higher. Press that bottom leg up, even a little bit more. Even a little bit more, and, oh, that was hard. Lower all the way back down. All right, so from here, I'm just gonna stretch out a little bit. We're going right onto our bellies. So we're gonna do a little swan. So for this one, ladies, depending upon what you're working with, on the front of your body, this could feel a little uncomfortable, so you kind of just have to make adjust adjustments as needed. And if it doesn't work, you can just get rid of the ball altogether. So we're gonna do um, a little swan, and you know how to do your swan. So, really down, just bring the ball right underneath your chest. Okay, with your hands a little wider than your mat. I have a pretty narrow mat, so I bring my hands up kind of wide. And the legs are in external rotation, so those heels are turned in. Okay, let me get rid of this. And you're just gonna melt over your ball. Just start to feel things kind of open up a little bit, draw those shoulders out of your ears, pull the belly in and up. And then on your next inhale, just start to lift your head, your neck, and your chest. And as you do that ball mark, start to kind of just roll forward a little bit. And then exhale to come back down. And the ball might start to kind of roll back underneath you ever so slightly. So the movement is going to be really small with the ball. Inhale brings you up. Draw those shoulders down into your back pocket. Sorry, a little hair in my face. And then exhale to come back down. Let's just do two more. Inhale up and exhale to come down. Now from here, we're going to take the ball out and we're actually going to bring it um, kind of between the forearms and just gently under the front of the chest. So we're setting up for our single leg kicks. So all we're doing is using the ball as a little bit of a support for the chest. Because we all know that in our single and our double, our single leg kicks, one of the most challenging things is really just keeping the chest lifted, keeping that space between the shoulder blades um, from hollowing out, okay? So trying to stay lifted. So just using it for a little extra support, okay? But try not to squish the ball here. All right, so we're gonna go nice and quick. Okay, legs are together. My quads are engaged. I've pulled up on those kneecaps. I'm nice and lifted. Back of my neck is long. My abs are engaged. And then from here, I'm going to go point, flex, point, down, and switch. Point, flex, point, down. So it's that heel to glute connection that we're looking for with the upper body staying nice and lifted. Really try to pull your heel to your bottom as much as you can. Just one more on each side. Good. We'll pull the ball out. Just hold on to it while you press back and take a child's pose. Good. Now we're going to go into a little teaser work. So let's just do a, um, I'm going to show you just a single leg teaser prep. If you want to do a full teaser, um, if that's where your practice is taking you today, and then you go ahead and work into your full teaser. So let's start with the feet planted and the knees together. So again, you have got, like I always say, a little, um, well, I used to say a penny, and now I'll say a $100 bill because I had to up the ante. Between your knees, you're squeezing it, okay? 
and you're gonna extend one leg out. From here, we're gonna find that spinal articulation like we did on our rollbacks and rolling like a ball. So the hips are starting to go back, reach the ball back, come up and see if you can tap your toe with the ball, okay? Inhale back, exhale to come up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale and let's switch legs. So you're still hugging that $100 bill between your knees. Inhale back, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Just whatever tempo or pacing works for you, hold it here. Bring that other leg up if you can. And maybe you try a full teaser down and up. Down and up. One more. Down and up. Good. Legs down. Take a big stretch over. Good. We're going to do our can-can today using our ball. So I'm going to um, put the ball underneath me. Just like, kind of like when we started except for... It's not going to be quite as low, so I want you to keep it a little higher on your back, okay? So you're going to be nice and lifted, and I think for this one, I will turn and face you so you can have a little better view. So now you saw what the ball looked like there, okay? So I want you to really think about trying again not to put all of your weight or sink onto the ball. You really want to try to keep your chest lifted, and think about your hands almost as if they're kind of um, cemented into the ground, okay? So they're cemented in place and they're energetically reaching towards the center of your back as that chest stays lifted. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna point my toes down towards the mat and I allow my knees to go to the right, trying to keep them glued together as much as I can. Then to the left, then to the right, and kick all the way back down. Then I switch, I go to the left, to the right, to the left, kick, lower down. Right, left, right, and kick. Left, right, left, and kick again. Right, left, right, and kick. And left, right, left, and kick. Lower down, come forward, take the ball out, set it aside. ball is on the move. So we're going to leave the ball off to the side and find a Z-sit. Okay, so we're going to find our Z-sit position. One leg is in front of me, one leg is to the side. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is just take a big inhale, lift my arms all the way up, and I'm going to stretch up and over to the front. Okay, so here you should feel a pretty intense stretch. If your right leg is forward, you should feel it on that right um, piriformis, some of the glutes and outer thigh muscles there. And then start to walk your hands around off to the side, almost coming towards the back of your mat. Nice big stretch here. Taking a couple big deep breaths. And then walk your hands back around. Just kind of walking. And then see if you can actually go the other way. So now you're really gonna feel that deep stretch on the kind of booty area of whatever leg is forward. It might be your left leg. You're probably mirroring what I'm doing. Might feel that stretch through the QL, through that lower back. forward again melt over and as much as you can try to keep that sit bone reaching for the mat underneath you as much as you can so you really get a nice big stretch here and then just walk your hands back in and we'll switch to the other side so again finding that Z sit position Inhale, brings the arms up, and then just exhale, come forward. Getting those hands out in front of you, try to leave your sit bone on the, my left side, probably your right side now, really trying to press towards the mat in opposition of your body going forward. 
And then we're going to just start to walk the hands further over towards the opposite leg. Deepening into your stretch on the leg that's forward. And then you just kind of walk around, walking away from that leg and almost walking towards the back of your mat. And then start to walk your hands back in and forward as much as you can. One final stretch forward in this position. Try to anchor that sit bone down. And then come all the way up. And that's the end of our mat with the ball workout for today. So hopefully using the ball gave you some extra feedback and maybe some extra support. So there might have been exercises where you were challenged more and there might have been exercises where you felt like you had more of the support that you needed. So as you're going forward in your mat workouts, maybe using a ball at times to help you either challenge yourself or get a little extra support is something that you can kind of bring in on your own. So thanks for tuning in with me today.